Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Rebecca and I'm here today to show you how I store my tarot and oracle cards. Since it's not the time of the month where I would naturally have a new um, video about one of my many witch books, which I love, and those are my most popular videos, I thought, and I don't have any ideas for new ones, I thought I would just give a quick little tour of how I'm storing my tarot and oracle decks. The size of my collection has grown since I filmed my Tarot and Oracle collection video, which you can find linked up above in the cards for you. So I had to rearrange a little bit, and I'm super thrilled with my setup, so I wanted to share. Let's get going. Okie dokie. I'm going to try my best to do this with as little shaking as possible, so there might be some, like, cuts, but whatever. This cabinet is directly behind my bedroom door and this is where the majority of my tarot and oracle cards are let's get a closer look this is where i store the decks that i'm not currently really using as much up at the top i have the goddess guidance oracle i have the numinous astro deck and i have the happy tarot and then down at this bottom shelf, I have my Revelations Tarot, the Spirit Song Tarot, the Wild Unknown Tarot, tarot and the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit deck. These decks I'm not currently using very much, and so they stay in this cabinet. That way I have quick access to them if I want to use them randomly. I don't have to dig out and dig through boxes, which really pisses me off. I have them readily accessible. However, I like they're not in taking up more uh, prime real estate space and they all have a different stone charging on top of them and keeping them nice and just extra delicious. So that's the main portion of them. The next prime real estate space that I have decks is on my altar. This group of three here hiding are the three that I pull from every single day. These are my daily draw decks. So I have the Goddess Oracle, Shadowscapes Tarot, and Earth Magic. And again, they have a stone charging on them and just place my cards here. And the last two decks I have are up on this next level of my altar on either side. This side is my moon oracle and it's my little mini moon altar side and this ended up happening because when i did my deck interview with this deck it became very clear that this deck wanted to be held in high regard and i'm okay with it so i have the deck i have and then i just put related moon items that i wanted and then I knew when I got this deck that I was getting the deck that goes with it. This is the Moon Oracle by Caroline Smith or Carolyn Smith and John Astrop. And they also have the Oracle of the Radiant Sun. And that puppy is right here. So, and given that the sun and the moon have such strong symbolism in my life, I have a video about that. You can check it up above in the cards. I decided to, when I when it became clear in the deck interview that that moon deck wanted to stay up and like out and present in my life and be a part of my sacred space, I wanted the sun deck to do the same thing. So I don't have as many sun items and currently my uh, sun stones, a few of them are in use. So they're over there, but this is where that lives but this is where that stuff lives. The last thing related to talk about is my deck books, which you can see most of here. The deck books of the decks that I am currently actively using sit here in this pile. And that book on the bottom, that book is my tarot spreads journal. So I put tarot spreads that I make or that I like and I've tried in that book. Of the other decks that I don't really use are in this compartment via death. <laughs> I just 
haven't figured out when it's a big empty space I'm still figuring it out um, however I did have an idea so I might be I might be removing that animal spirit guides book because I'm not using it and adding more of the deck books there or I might also be removing the drawer I might also be taking the drawer out of the cabinet and just like placing it somewhere as like a storage bucket and using that space or using the space on top of it I don't know but that's it that's what I have got to show you of my little mini how I store my tarot and oracle deck storage I really hope you liked this video I really like these types of videos so please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and you can subscribe down below and check out some of the things I've got linked I just I'm happy to have a little video to post and share with you. And I will see you again soon. Wishing you love and light always. Bye!